but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even, as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. 1 John 2 verse 27. In this passage, John tells us that anointing, i.e. the gifts, the Holy Spirit, etc., that he has given us stays with us, it teaches us, now, that doesn't mean that we don't need Sabbath school teachers or biblical instructors, if that were the case, then Jesus would not have called on people to teach the gospel. This is more an admonition that we need to stay away from false teachings. The Spirit in us alerts us to the truth. We carry within us the anointing that allows us to recognize the truth of the gospel. Even when it is being misrepresented, no one is so wise and holy that he has no need of gospel ministry. If we hear someone say such a thing, or we see someone who thinks he is above being instructed by a biblical teacher, or minister, who thinks he knows it all, then that person shows proof that he has nothing of Christ or the Holy Spirit in him. We must be ever mindful not to get too big for our britches, and think that we have learned all there is to learn about the gospel. Matthew 7 verses 3 to 5 says, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest, not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine? I, and, behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. It can become very easy to point out other people's flaws and shortcomings, instead of focusing on the areas in our lives that require improvement. Jesus spoke against this behavior, adamantly, as Christians, we are to be self-righteous, seeking to point out other people's mistakes, and becoming blind to our own. We are to be humble, even when correcting people, and realize that just as someone has made a mistake, we are very capable of doing the same thing. Devotion topic is, what message is written on your heart? Can you think of a law that has changed drastically during your lifetime? I am sure we can all think of some laws that changed from one generation to the next. People's attitudes and education can lead to large shifts in the law. What one generation may deem inappropriate, illegal, and abhorrent, the next generation may deem legal and justified, some laws today may be technically legal may have sinful consequences. It is, for this reason, we must be noble in the eyes of God, not just in society. Paul writes to the Corinthians about the letter of the law, as originally inscribed in Judaism, in contrast to God's divine moral order, laws may serve a purpose in regulating society, but as devotees of the word of God, they are not sufficient. There is a law written on us, as well, on the fleshy tables of the heart, we must share our word, through our words, and deeds, so that all can bear witness to a higher letter, we may be law-abiding, citizens in society, which is indeed a noble act, but being noble in the eyes of God will prove perpetually valuable on Judgment Day, prayer, Heavenly Father, far above the trivial laws and letters created by mankind, we are so blessed to have received your word, I ask that you write upon my heart, dearest God, walking in your holy path, I pray that you help me to realize that it is your word, O Lord, that I must follow, Allow us to animate your moral order, and show us mercy. All of this I pray in your name. Amen.